We're going to look at a quick overview on how to sign in to Unique Learning and News to You, and also a couple of the things that you can do with it using it on the smart board. Until the actual site's bookmarked, the best thing you can do is go to Google and type Unique Learning and click the link that comes up. To sign in, simply go to the top right and use one of the names and passwords that are on the paper. I'm going to use Debbie's that's um, used at a middle school level in the intermediate and high school program. Some um, staff use it. Once you're signed in, you'll notice it gives you a choice to go to Symbol Sticks, News to You, or Unique Learning. To go to Unique Learning, simply hit Launch, and you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. Now, there is a lot of information on this page, but for this, only focus on these certain areas. First thing you can do is go to the Unique Learning dashboard on the left-hand side. When you click it, you'll see May lessons come up. You want to go to the Summer Lessons, so simply click View Summer Lessons. When you're in the Summer Lessons, you'll see a page that looks like this. And you'll see the lessons listed, Lessons 1 through 30 for this unit. To open a book, simply click the PDF link to the right and it will open up on your page. Anything you're seeing on my computer screen, if you're on the Smartboard, you will see on the Smartboard screen. And you could read the books right on the page. The ink on the Smartboard will also work on these, so you can circle words, highlight words, and do things like that to make them interactive lessons. You'll notice all the lessons listed here, some of them have a speaker next to them. If you click the speaker, that means that the activity can be read to the students. It will open an audio video player called LexaFlow. In order to start the record, the um, audio output, simply hit the green arrow at the top. Chapter 1, History of Baseball. Baseball is a favorite sport in the world. It's not the nicest sounding, but for students that benefit from the audio and visual input, it is beneficial, especially on the smart board. It is an option that's available to you. Something else that you may want to access in the Unique Learning System is to the left called NTY Library. They have a lot of books listed in here at a lot of different levels that you can read on the smart board. They have added a few community books. I'm going to search community. And you'll notice that the books appear at the bottom for me. Let's just take a look at Community Helpers, Level E. Downloading it, the book opens right into your page again, and you can use that as a lesson on the smart board for the students. You'll notice it also gives you picture cards at the end and a glossary that you can use to make interactive lessons. I'll show that in a little bit. If you want to make an interactive lesson for the smart board using the unique learning materials, it's pretty simple, and I'll show you how to do it right now. Open up one of the activities by clicking the PDF link to the right. And you'll notice the activity that goes along with one of the books right here. First thing I'm going to do is make that a little bit smaller. You'll notice over here that I have my Smartboard notebook open, and I'm going to click this camera picture right at the top of my page, which is a screen capture. I'm going to select the first option, which will allow me to capture a certain area. And I'm going to click and hold the area that I want to take. Once I do that, if I go back to my smart notebook, you'll notice that that picture that I just took opens up right in my notebook software. So there is the worksheet that I just took a picture of from Unique Learning. How can I make this interactive? I can simply go back to 
my unique learning worksheet, take my screen capture again, and I could take pictures of each one of the choices down below. I'll just do three of them for purposes of this. Now once I do that, those pictures are now also on my page and I can match them down below. So when a student comes up to the smart board to do an activity, all they have to do is find the answer and drag it to the blank. Let's find one we can do right now. If you answered the first one, keep it blank if you know what I mean. The answer, clean. The student can take it, drag it, and drop it in the space provided. You can also incorporate other features of Smart Notebook, for instance, adding sound if you need the audio and visual input for certain students. I'm going to, <clears throat> excuse me, start recording. Clean. and attach that to my picture. Clean. So it gives you the visual and the audio input. So we just took a look at the uh, unique learning library that's available to you for the summer lessons. Looked at some of the features, how to open the PDFs, how to use the read aloud features that are included in some of them. We looked at the library over here that has some books on different topics that you can access and show on the smart board. Uh, we also looked at how to make some interactive lessons using the camera tools that you can use in the smart board to make the worksheets interactive after you read one of the books. In the next video, we're going to look at news to you, some of the interactive features on there, how to sign on, and some of the other games you can play when you're in the news to you software.